All right, I said I wanted to show you one more quick tip. And if you go back to installing IntelliJ, there was an option that was kind of thrown on at the end. I can't remember which screen, but it asked if we wanted to install a command line launcher for IntelliJ. So if you've already done that, that's fine. But if you've already installed IntelliJ and maybe you forgot about that or just haven't done that yet, don't worry, you can still make that happen. So if you go up here to Tools, you can actually create a command line launcher. And I would just use the default path and click OK, and it'll do that. Again, I've already done it, so I have it uh, available to me. But let's go ahead and quit this. And what I'm going to do is open up a new terminal. And I'm going to go into CD into Dev Demo. I'm going to clone that same repository we did in the last exercise. So I'm cloning that Java Cones. And that'll pull down the project for us. So now if I look, there it is. So now if I wanted to, I could CD into there. And because we installed that command line launcher, I can now just say idea, which is opening up IntelliJ, and I want to use that directory as the directory that you're opening. Now because I deleted it, actually I didn't delete that, because we just created that project in IntelliJ before this step, there was already project files available. So you may have to create a new project once you open it, or if there was already a project in place, then you can just open it right up here and uh, start working. So just a little tip about opening files or projects from the command line in IntelliJ.